why I'm over when it's Monday. It's Monday. And we're at the beach. We're gonna talk some sports. Figured rather than show a bunch of Excel files, because they're all being worked on, let's get some nice scenery over a golf. If we're looking at a golf course, golf, another sport I will consider doing with an algorithm. But I mean, who cares how bad did WNBA and English Premier League Soccer do? They did bad. Um, they did bad. WNBA lost both the games in, in its very first prediction ever. And then uh, English Premier League Soccer, I felt like had like a mixed day, but all the odds makers, I think, beat the, the soccer algorithms. It was terrible, which is okay because these are brand new and it shows how much effort goes into getting the variables straight in those sports because I mean, anything can happen in one day, but at the same time, if it's missing stuff that the, that, that the sports betting market is getting right, the odds makers are beating it, and that means it doesn't know what it's doing yet. So there's a lot of work to be done, and I'm gonna spend some time working on the, uh, the English Premier League soccer algorithm. I didn't even get the lineups finalized from yesterday. Been, uh, been busy with other stuff, but, um, but I, I'm gonna set aside some time. So, so when it comes to soccer, not working yet, not even close, needs a ton of work, but we're gonna be on that work. Next, WNBA was just a creation for next year, kinda anyway, because the playoffs are starting now. It went 0-2 yesterday. The Las Vegas Aces lost. Um, so And so did the uh, the Chicago Sky. So Sky and Aces lose, and it goes 0-2. I don't know what to think of WNBA. Uh, hopefully you didn't lose your shirt on WNBA yesterday. There's a game two of the series coming up, I think, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, probably. Now, next, there's um, – there I could talk about baseball. Carlos is still doing baseball. He's reliable and does it multiple emails per day. If you're interested in getting a hold of the baseball algorithm and getting on the email list with Carlos, he's charging a dollar a day and I will forward you his information if you contact me. So that's baseball. Next, let's, do I want to talk about football? Okay, let's talk about the real football, American football, NFL. So the preseason has ended, ended yesterday. The, the Jets, the number one pick of the algorithm for the week, accidentally did win a game and go undefeated in the preseason. So take that for what it's worth, which is absolutely nothing because it's preseason and preseason is a disaster. Um, we're gonna go all the way up the hill. It's still a path, right? I think so. We're gonna do a lot of walking because it's just tough. The seat to run. We don't have space. Anyway, um, football. So I started. Uh, okay, uh, so the football subscription for the season is three hundred bucks, and it gets you every email I do to everybody the whole season. That comes out to between like ten and twenty bucks a week when you consider playoffs and stuff like that. So uh, in that sense, I think that's very reasonable. I know it looks like three hundred bucks. It is three hundred bucks. But uh, it's also me working until January, so keep that in mind. Um, so that's available, and uh, thanks, Sean, for buying one today. Uh, the, so as I work on that, um, there's a bunch of roster changes, and we've done a ton of work to, um, to already get the, a lot of the way there. So this should be really exciting. Oh, my gosh, the, um, the, the rookie QB for Washington got shot in a carjacking? in uh, Northeast yesterday, crazy, um, scary. I mean, Northeast, Northeast and, and Southeast, there's there's potential, but it, that's, uh, that's a problem we think more with Baltimore, but it's DC too, it's rough, and that sucks. Uh, makes me wanna not drive a nice car, but it's sad, as he got shot multiple times, but I mean, lower body, if he turns into 50 Cent and doesn't walk with a limp, I mean, here, talk about Superman story. I mean, this guy's got no choice but to have good luck in the NFL. Um, so very, very scary stuff, but that happened. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that you got to check the injury report, right? I mean, talk about former Washington quarterbacks with issues. Dwayne Haskins dies, gets hit by a car in Florida, even though he's with Pittsburgh. Um, and now this, I mean, rough stuff. So we're going to stop it right here. So football. So, um... I don't see too much point in doing work on football until, until I catch my breath. 
don't see too much reason to spend too much time on football until like this weekend or next week because there's going to be roster movements. Uh, injury report will get updated. People will re recover from gut wounds, hopefully. And you never know what it's going to say. So I'm going to spend the, the couple hours it takes to do that because week one, week one is not, uh, I don't want to get everyone excited about week one actually. Let's get realistic about week one. So week one is going to have all the team stats from the last year and player stats from last year and estimated rookies, what they might, what their contribution might be. So th it's going to be a hodgepodge of not accurate stuff. So week one will not be spectacular unless by accident and by luck. So, but we two, we start to import the stats from week one and we align all those rookies all of a sudden have a game of statistics and all of a sudden we can do something with actual game data from the current season. And then weeks three, four are more of the same as we gain more stats and we start to wonder if we can transition fully to current season stats. And then by week five or week four or five especially, we're basically going with current season stats for everything except for home and away win percentage, which we'll continue to use from last year until about I'd say week eight, almost halfway, or maybe week six. Point is, that's the plan. So for those who want NFL, the one time copy, which week one is okay, but you really want week two, because week two has, has the beginning of the transition. So I'll, I'll make a deal for the first two weeks, because I understand the 50 bucks will be for the first two weeks. I'll get you week one and week two. So it's essentially 25 a week to get you started. If you want to start updating it yourself, so that you can run the algorithm and, and just take over and not have to worry about waiting for my emails every week and you can just do everything yourself. Because I will be doing videos to show how to do that when I'm not rollerblading around the beach. So that's the NFL update, guys. Um, enjoy your sports. It's part of my life. It's certainly not all of my life, uh, as you can see from the videos, and that's just the way it goes. So good luck, everybody. May all your picks be winning. May all your programming be fruitful. And enjoy watching me and participating in it.